Welcome to the Sisterhood of Sweat. It's Let It Rip Friday. Hi, I'm Linda Mitchell, 54-year-old elite obstacle racer, award-winning fitness competitor, gym owner, and author. Welcome to the Sisterhood of Sweat podcast, where we will approach the difficult topics of life, interview inspiring guests, and bring empowerment to all. This community is a place where we can be who we are instead of who others want us to be. Let's get started. And now, a word from our sponsors, Essential Formulas. Hi, this is Frankie Boyer, and I believe, I don't know about your lifestyle, but some days I need roller skates. My lifestyle is crazy busy, and I'm pulled in so many directions. It takes a toll on my health. That's why I am proactive. I don't go a day without my Dr. O'Hara's probiotics. It's just that important to me. As the expression goes, the road to good health is paved with good intestines. Dr. O'Hara's is not just a probiotic supplement. It's a complete floor a balancing system, helping to bring your body back into balance naturally. Doctor recommended, made with organic ingredients, dairy and gluten-free, and needs no refrigeration. Perfect for travel. I believe that Dr. O'Hara's probiotics are the best probiotics on the market today. To learn more about Dr. O'Hara's probiotics, visit EssentialFormulas.com. Dr. O'Hara's probiotics are available at Vitamin Shop, Whole Foods, Sprouts, and other fine health food stores nationwide. Please don't forget to subscribe, rate, and write a quick review. This helps the Sisterhood of Sweat get noticed on iTunes. And I truly appreciate your support so much. We have been consistently hitting top 100 and top 50 for the last six months. If you want to help get my message out even more and impact more people's lives all over the globe, please post a picture of my show and tag me at Sisterhood of Sweat on any social media platform. It would mean the world to me. It is my goal to create a like-minded community of women who build each other up to create huge wins in their businesses, relationships, and life. Every Wednesday and Friday, I will be dropping a new show to ignite your life, fuel your passion, and give you the courage and confidence to go after what you want unapologetically. Whoop, whoop. Hey, everybody. It's moving day. My gym, we expanded during the pandemic, if you've been following along on the podcast. And I have gone from very small beginnings to each dream scared me when I took a leap. When I leaped out of the corporate gym years ago, uh, well, let me think, how many years? 12 years ago to be exact. And decided, hey, let me just, I was going to get a coordinating job at another gym. And uh, I was running a boot camp outside of the park. And I got this idea of, wow, like I could do my own thing. So I started kind of leasing in another guy's space and that's how I started. And then it just evolved from there. And so each leap became a bigger leap until I leaped into my small studio. I leaped into my bigger studio and now we have expanded again and the dream is ever growing and the community is building and it is so awesome to be part of a sisterhood with so many amazing women. Uh, Collaboration is truly how you crush competition. Just like in the episode that I had with Shay Brown, uh, that was sometime last month, I think. And it was such a great episode, so you want to definitely go back and listen to that. But I am so freaking excited. There's nothing like taking a leap, being scared to death. You, you, you overthink it. You think about it. You think about it. And finally, just realize you want it greater than the fear you have. And you trust. And I prayed. <laughs> and you take the leap. And then you realize you're doing it. It's almost like jumping in a swimming pool. And and when you start swimming, you realize, oh, gosh, I'm swimming. And I was crushing so many goals. I had my largest month last month. And then this month, which is we're in the middle of summer. I'm sure it's because um, 
around here, uh, the pandemic has kind of lifted restrictions. So amazing. So this month has been amazing as well. And you start realizing that your dream has become a reality and there's nothing that you could trade for that experience. You guys It is like supernatural. It is the coolest thing. And so many people run around in circles, talking about things, thinking about them and never doing them. Don't cheat yourself out of your biggest, boldest dreams, no matter how quirky they sound to you, no how, how funny they might feel, and no matter what somebody says to you or what they think about it, because your own vision and dream is unique. And again, that is what sets you apart from everybody else. You don't need to be everybody else. They're too busy doing that. Go take a different route, like swim in the blue ocean. There's a book out there that talks about swimming in the blue ocean. That is a great book. And it just is find your way to do something because it's going to be completely different. And that is what people want. They don't want sameness. They don't want everything the same. And then niche that sucker down. You just want to really niche down your business and find your sweet spot and figure out who your avatar is. Who are you speaking to? Who is your customer? What are their wants, needs, and desires? And what are they looking for? Chances are, if you build something you needed, that there's going to be other people that need that same thing. So I am standing on the edge of my dreams so excited today, you guys. This is so amazing. And I just thank everybody for being a part of this vision that I have for women supporting women. And I just want to continue to make it grow. And I want to reach thousands upon thousands. And I want to reach a million downloads on this podcast so that I know I have reached a million women out there. Once upon a time, I was I got a little choked up there in dire straits, and I didn't know how I was going to make it. I didn't know if I was going to be able to support my children. I didn't have a college education. I was being beat up in my marriage physically, and I knew something had to change. And I knew I couldn't stay in that. And I took and made a choice. That choice, that decision, I changed my story. I didn't live in my story, I moved on from that and did not look back other than to help other women that may need to change their stories too. So one decision, you guys, you're one decision away from a better life. Bye, everybody. Have a great Friday. And I hope that all of our listeners have enjoyed this podcast. And if you guys have really enjoyed this, please review us in iTunes and also share this episode with your friends and your loved ones. Thanks again for listening to the Sisterhood of Sweat. 